Hello everyone, this is RG from Isisane, and in this short video, I would just like to discuss with you on many different websites that we can use as a graphic designer. Some of these websites can really change on how you design your work, and to even make it faster. So, let me show you the first website here, it's called Pexels.com. So in Pexels, this is where you can download free photos that is high quality, that is always changing every day. So if you scroll down on this website, you will easily find a lot of pictures that you might want to use on your design. And the good thing is, it's all for free. So if we want to have a photo, like for example, a beach photo in our design, what we'll do here is we'll just need to type it in the search and you scroll down. So for example, I really like this photo. I just need to simply click on it and click on download. So that's one of the one website that we can really use as a designer because all of these pictures are for free and it's also getting updated each time you visit the website. So another website that I would like to show to you guys is called the erasebackground.com or erase.bg slash upload. So in this one, this AI tool that you can use is used to remove background from a picture. So let me show you an example. I have one picture here in my desktop, which is here in the downloads, and I want to remove the background for this person. I can easily do that in Photoshop as well, but an even easier way to do it is by visiting this website. If I go here in Upload, I click on it, and it will let me choose what file I want to upload. So of course, I'll pick this one. I'll just double click, and you just need to wait for it for a few seconds. And as you can see, it has completely removed the background for this person. So what I'm gonna do here is just click on Download Original, and we'll notice is that this person now doesn't have a background and it's ready to be put on a design. So that's one of the most useful tools or websites that uh, I'm also gonna show in this video. Another website that you might be very familiar with is called prepick.com. So in prepick.com, this is where you can find a lot of templates for your design for you to save time. And there's also a lot of pictures that you might want to use for your design as well. So we just need to simply type here something that we want. So for example, I am making a book right now and I want to put it inside of a mock-up. So what we'll do here is just type book, then mock-up, and press enter. We'll close this one. And you'll notice that it has now um, showed me a lot of book mockups that I can use for my design. Okay, so there's also one uh, option here on the left side if you want to make it for free. So of course, some of these examples or the one that they're showing us is not all for free. Some of them are free, but some of them are paid. So you need to use a filter called free in order to only get the free ones, okay? So this free pick website is very useful for us designers because it allows us to get many materials, especially mockups for our design, okay? And finally, the last website that I want to show you is uh, hopefully all of you guys are familiar with it. It's called Behance.com. So Behance is like the Facebook for designers. It allows you to scroll and get many ideas for your design and also a lot of uh, fonts, ideas, everything here you can find it. So when you're making a design, the best way is to actually just research on the internet first, get some idea on what is trending or what's popular, and then you, you do their design, but even better. So this is the best website for you guys to go and check before you make your design and get some inspirations from. So I suggest you visit all these four websites that I just showed you and hopefully you will learn how to improve your designing skills even better. So thank you for watching this video and hopefully you learned a lot more about deciding. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.